Welcome to the Bougie Black Brother Network. Right. So, another one is uh, electric car. You know what? There's going to be a lot more maintenance that you have on that. Yes. No, you don't. So, when you compare those with a lot of... Now, here's the difference with a Tesla and a lot of other uh, EV vehicles. A lot of other EV vehicles are regular cars with a battery. Mm -hmm. So they have a lot of coolants and they got radiators and they have all different other types of stuff. Any of those separate parts on an ICE car, an internal combustible engine, ICE vehicle, you have those components still in the car, whereby Tesla eliminated almost 80% of those type of parts and have the two motors and everything is electronically built from that. So you have the least amount of maintenance that you have to do. Yes, you do. On a Tesla. On a Tesla. And and most EVs. Right. I say most because it depends on how the vehicle has been um, um, configured right. in and, that way. And like Michael said, a lot of the other EVs are made like regular ICE vehicles, mm -hmm. like he said. And so when you th think about a Tesla, the ones that you know, Tesla we have, everything is software download. It's a software download for any updates that needs to be done to the car. So if there is, for example, I think Consumer Reports said that um, they gave gave it a bad rating because, because of the brakes. brakes. Yep. And the brakes. Tesla said, hold up a second, we can fix that. And they did over-the-air um, over download mm -hmm. and automatically fixed the brake problem. So let's go to that because I think a lot of people don't even know about that because they don't even know to ask. So if something goes wrong with the car or there's something that needs to be updated or there's a recall that has to be done, what Tesla does, they figure that and see it and say, you know what, we'll do it over the air, OTR. That means if you connect to the Wi-Fi, what's going to happen is they'll charge it. I mean, they'll download it just like if you had a phone, it would be charged over the air and then it's like up oh, it's there and not only that they give you the notification right they give you a notification so with the app with that's the app. what they mm -hmm. said hey you got a new update and a lot of the updates is just small fixes and everything mm -hmm. whereby with our with our lexus we had to go in they had to keep it for uh, a couple hours yeah. or a day or two and do what they need to do so like leisha said when they said there was a problem with the brakes they hit the some altercation with the software and it fixed what they saw that was a problem. And consumer report was like, oh my God. Yeah, there's, okay. never been, there's no other vehicle that can do that at the right moment. Now, at the moment. At the moment. There's people working They're on They're working that. on it, yes. But working and, and actually operating, two different things. And Tesla is like years ahead of their time and then any other vehicle. Other EV vehicles. Right, other EV vehicles cars moving right, toward the, right. Um, and like he said when, when with the Lexus if we wanted the nav map to be updated we had to go in pay three hundred dollars for them to plug in a computer to update the software mm -hmm. which we didn't understand why they're doing it when everybody else was way ahead of them uh, with with Lexus with updating especially information like that on in a car like CarPlay yep. and, and Apple. Apple Apple car or yep. whatever they call yep. that yeah yeah so a lot of these misconceptions what these people are having is unfounded because they assume uh, 10 years ago there's problems with electric cars yeah. problems and it was a problem because the battery costs like 10 and fifteen thousand dollars if something goes wrong or here's the other one that I keep hearing well you know in five years you're gonna have to get rid of the car and the battery's gonna be dead Tesla has shown, and we, we're talking about Tesla, mm -hmm. Tesla has shown that you can go a million miles, a million miles with the battery. The degradation is no more than 80%. And also a lot of people seem to, don't realize, because um, is that Tesla parts in their cars are all recyclable. They make sure of that. So the question is, well, your battery is going to go bad and it's going to mess up the environment because the chemicals in the battery, no. Everything that's made by Tesla in their cars are all recyclable. And actually, there is one of the guys who's a YouTuber who took an old Tesla because he couldn't afford it. He went to the junkyard, mm. got one of the Tesla, and actually rebuilt the Tesla 
from parts that he got from the junkyard. So yep. that proves to everybody that that can be done. So this makes it that having an EV with the misconceptions, you take that all out. And then you start looking at what does it do for me, right? And we're gonna go, we're not gonna get into that. Oh no no, what's the last thing that you know that they all when they, when they come to us is like, man man you're rich. I'm rich, bitch. I heard this even in my damn Tesla group, Tesla diva group. We they always say yeah, but they think we're rich if we buy a Tesla. No no no, that doesn't work like that. You know, it's how you say, babe. Manage What's your mean? money. Yeah, it's just how you manage your money. It's how you manage. And they we said and that on the other of the podcast when we initially bought it, it wasn't about how much money that the car costs. It's if you budget your money properly and you know what your expenditures are per year for your car and per week for your car, and you match that up with the cost, you will also within the five years if you finance it five years or six years you will actually pay less to maintain the car than you would a car that costs less than the car that you uh a, a gas driven car from that exactly manage your money and your finances and long term you will see that and even if you say well i don't i don't have time to be managing my money got you so let me help you out how much do you spend on gas every week? I don't know. I fill up about three times a week. And how many times is, I mean, how much is that? Well, it's about $40. So let's say four, eight, twelve. That's $120 a week times 52. That's what you spend. Now, if you take that and divide that every month with your car payment, that's an additional how much per with your regular car payment of a new car. Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't think about it. Oh, yeah, most people don't. Well, you're going to wind up paying for some kind of gas. Yes, you pay electricity or you pay that. But then let's just take 20% of the 100% of gas that you have and then take that off and see what your payment is. If you manage and know what your costs are, we have no oil changes. And even so, the electricity bill is cheaper than the full tank of gas. Yep. Exactly. I mean, you paying you paying for your power. You turn on the gas. I mean, you turn on your uh, lights in the house and everything like that. Mm -hmm. That's part of your electricity bill. And then if you're charging your car, that's included. So come so on now, you, it's you still cheaper. That. It's it's it, it's a bump up. It depends on what state you're from, what county you at, and we have a good because Georgia Power gives you a discount yep. if, if you, you have an electric car yep. and you charge it within a certain time. Yep. So they're gonna say, well, my my bill gonna get higher. No, not really, not really. Now you got these people who have these additional large apparatuses that they run, like refrigerators and other stuff, additional refrigerators. So you're pulling a lot of electricity as well. But with that, that's a temporary time, and you can take advantage of it from that. Yep. So any other questions they ask? No. So that's the that's the main ones. There's a lot of detailed ones that that. that I really have to give some explanation for, but those are the ones when people roll up and they 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 kind of ask you. The main thing is, how much gas does it take? Yeah, exactly. I told you it was an electric car. Yeah. I didn't tell you it was a hybrid. <laughs> I told you it was so a hundred percent electric. <laughs> no, some of it goes off wind power. So as fast as I go, it picks up and does it? No, you idiot. I said EV electric vehicles. So, but those we wanted to talk to that because continuously we going through and saying the same thing yes. over and yeah. over and over and it's something that you know you, at some point you get real tired of it but then again you it's educate education. it's educating them it's education. so you know just i mean we have people have fun with it too so yeah. but yeah. honestly truthfully it's great to educate them on this and so by doing this we're kind of hoping that we could just direct people i was like it. hey go to my youtube <laughs> it'll tell you you go find it on your own yeah, watch it and put a like on it. <laughs> How about that? So, no, but that's what we wanted to do. Um, but Black and the Tesla on YouTube, YouTube, yeah, channel, and YouTube Face, channel, Facebook, Facebook, and Instagram. Twitter, and Instagram. Mm -hmm. So we have it all on those social met, uh, media Network. platforms. Mm -hmm. You can go check us out. Um, it turns into a podcast too. So a lot of what we talk about is on the podcast. So if you listen to the podcast and you be like, oh, you got uh, YouTube? Yeah, go there and see what we look like while we're giving you that information. Definitely. That goes from that. Definitely. So that's another good thing and you can go from that. Other than that, you got anything? Nah, I'm good. Though.
So thank you very much. And we'll see you next time on Black in a Tessa. Bye. Bye.